today's Daily Bible Thought continues the story of Zechariah and Elizabeth. And remember, it is Christmas. It's a Christmas story. It's just maybe one that you haven't heard before. So this is in Luke chapter 1. And remember, yesterday we talked about Elizabeth's nickname, the Barren One. Not a great nickname for a woman of that time or any time, I guess. But this is what happens next. So this is Luke chapter 1, verses 8 through 11. One day, Zechariah was serving God in the temple, for his order was on duty that week. As was the custom of the priests, he was chosen by lot to enter this sanctuary of the Lord and burn incense. While the incense was being burned, a great crowd stood outside praying. While Zechariah was in the sanctuary, an angel of the Lord appeared to him standing right to the right of the incense altar. Well, okay, so Zechariah was a priest and in the temple of the Jews during that time, they would cast lots to figure out who would go in the Holy of Holies. And this was the small area in the temple that was veiled so no one could see it. And that's where the Ark of the Covenant was and where the presence of God was focused or concentrated. And so uh, a priest would go in and they would actually tie a rope around his waist with bells so that if he died, <laughs> they could drag him out because nobody else is going in there because it's the Holy of Holies. And so Zechariah is in there. He's probably being very conscientious and careful, burning incense before the Lord. And then all of a sudden there's this angel it's actually Gabriel. We'll find that out later. But anyway, Gabriel is standing there. And I just think that would freak you out. So Zechariah is like, whoa, there's an angel. <laughs> and Gabriel is the same angel that will appear to Mary. So we're going to find out tomorrow. You have to stay tuned. Stay tuned for what happens next or read ahead and cheat. But the reality is for me, this verse really hit me or this little short passage hit me. I think when we go about our daily normal routine, we aren't ready sometimes for the surprises God's going to bring. And I think we need to have expectant hope and anticipate that God does show up in the strangest of ways sometimes. Zechariah didn't expect this, and yet there was an angel. So look around you and see what God may be doing that maybe you hadn't noticed and trust God because he has his angels guarding us and he will have his purposes completed. And this is part of the Christmas story. So stay tuned to find out how.